In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. God's good people, you are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Wednesday, the 6th of September, 2023. It is Wednesday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. You are welcome and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 52. The response to the psalm is, I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. The gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 38 to 44. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus arose and left the synagogue and entered Simon's house. Now, Simon's mother-in-law was ill with a high fever, and they asked him about her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she rose and served them. Now, when the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And demons also came out of many, crying, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. And when it was day, he departed and went into a lonely place. And the people sought him and came to him and would have kept him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also. For I was sent for this purpose. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Avail yourself for service any and everywhere, any and every time. Avail yourself for service any and everywhere, any and every time. Dear friends in Christ, managing fame, praises, success and glory could be a very difficult thing for some of us. Many have become proud, arrogant, disrespectful and too full of themselves when they met success, glory and fame. They lost it. As humans, we all like good things said of us and about us. No wonder, we easily and quickly associate with and want to keep as friends forever those who flatter us, those who incense us with litany of our good deeds. We like to hang around such people, but those who challenge us and point out our loopholes, we never want to come close to them we rather send them far away from us. Many of those who have been successful and famous want to remain at the top spot. Pride sets in, and they even see as threats uprising stars and may even want to eliminate them. That explains why those who are in power always want to remain in power. 
for those who have occupied positions where they shone out or who have been to places where they excelled. They never want to leave or let someone who can rival or outshine them go to those very places or occupy the same positions because they want their names always to be sung. Even when asked who could replace them, they recommend someone incapable so that the difference of their performance is so outstanding and people keep comparing and talking of how greater they were at their time than the current person is. Sometimes, people even leave a place or an office or a function, but they truly never leave because they keep finding out from the people, who oh, they miss me, do you miss me? How is the other person working? Sometimes, even sabotaging the efforts of the current person or instigating infighting so as to discredit them. All this because they have made a name and don't want others to outshine them. We know and have heard of people who denied to leave a certain function or a certain office when they were transferred or appointed to another office because they felt only they could manage or run the set function. Even when they receive signs from the gods for a reasonable departure, they hang on till, oh, that once upon a time great man or great woman, who was so much talked about, is shamefully and disgracefully brought down. It is difficult to build an empire, difficult to build a reputation, difficult to build a name for yourself out of your hard work. But I tell you, it takes only a second to destroy and to bring down all you painstakingly took time to build and you live in disgrace and nothing will be left to remember you, not even the successes that made you famous because you left at a time of disgrace. It is said, great and wise people know when to quit and they quit the stage when the applause is loudest. You are remembered forever. This is what Jesus did in the gospel passage of today. He quit the stage when the people were still applauding and expecting more. He had done well. He had preached. The people were astonished. They were marveled by the gracious words that came out of his mouth. He worked miracles. In fact, he touched Peter, Simon Peter's mother-in-law and the fever left her. Not only that, he had done great things, great things, and oh, his name was all over. The people were talking, talking positively about him. He was well spoken of and about. They even did not want him to leave their cities. They wanted him to stay. Were we in his place, I tell you, beloved, the temptation is great to always want to be at the limelight. We would have let it enter our heads, but no, not Jesus. He even withdrew and went to a quiet place to be all by himself, to be alone. And even when the apostles found him and told him, everybody is looking for you. Everybody is talking nicely about you. He told them, let us leave from here. Let us go to the other cities. For that is why I came. Dear good people of God, appointments and transfers of personnel these days seem to be a great problem because people do not want to move. Some want to remain in their glory zone where they have shone and are not ready to move away yet. Some don't want to leave places where they have built their comfort zones and some don't want to take up new challenges. Some see where they are more lucrative than where they have been newly assigned to, so they resist to move. Jesus says, This is the purpose for which I was sent, to go out, to go to other places and not to stay in one place because I am well spoken of or because I have shown and people are talking nicely about me. What is your own purpose for becoming a priest? Was it to work in a particular service or a lucrative parish? Or was it to move around and spread the good news of God? What is your own purpose for becoming a teacher? Was it to teach in a particular school or in a particular town? Or to go out and share your knowledge, even to those children who are found in the suburbs? What was your purpose for becoming a doctor? 
What was your purpose for becoming a minister? Was it to work in a particular ministry because it is very lucrative? No wonder we hear some people say that ministry no even get money. So it is all about the money, not about your service, not about what you can put in to make that ministry better. So let us evaluate ourselves in our different walks of life, in our different domains and places of work. Why do you do the things you do? What is the purpose for which you became what you became? Was it to spread the word of God? Was it to do your work regardless of where you work? Or you find fulfillment only in those places that are lucrative. And so the moment you are taken out of them, you think you have lost your worth. You think you have lost your purpose and your value. Let us learn from Jesus. This is the purpose for which I came, to go out. He has done well in one city and he thinks the other city needs his services and he's ready to move. Let us not let fame, glory, praises or success get into our heads that will become proud, arrogant, insultive, and oh, before we know it, the devil takes advantage and that once upon a time great person gets into disgrace and shame. Let us learn from Christ Jesus that we may be humble, mindful that whatever we are able to achieve is thanks to God and not our own power. Therefore, we must always be brought down to humility. If not, the devil will take advantage and bring us to ruin. And when it is time to leave, leave and live with joy. Leave and leave and do not keep struggling to seek information, trying to make the work of the person who takes over from you difficult. Let us learn from Christ to be humble and always to bring out our services wherever it is needed. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.